Today we're in Casablanca in Morocco and uh, I was going to stay on board actually because uh, I've been here a few times and uh, unless you go off you know on some of the trips or uh, things like that then there's not that much to do but um, I thought I'd get off anyway and just uh, have a mooch around and uh, you know get a little bit of footage. Kathy and Rob the singer and pianist they're getting off and they kind of talked me into uh, into coming off you know <laughs> when I told them I wasn't going to be going out and uh, so yeah we were all going to be going out in a few minutes. Last night's gig was pretty good. We uh, did a bit more of a pop set on the last uh, on the last set. I got to play a few uh, tunes I've not played in a while, like Disco Inferno and things like that. I keep trying to get some decent footage of us playing on a night, but uh, I'm not having much luck with this camera, to be honest. I, th I can't tell whether it's only recording in five minute sort of chunks or whether it's something to do with um, like some motion detection or something like that. Because I set it up last night uh, just near the sound booth, and you know, press record, went off and played and after five minutes it, uh, it had stopped recording so uh, I tend to put it on the music stand right next to me um, and that, that usually seems okay um, I can and if it turns off I can just press record again right right there but uh, yeah trying to trying to get a long shot you know where or the whole bands in there and with a better sound is uh, seems to be pretty tough so we'll probably go into town for about an hour or two and then come back um, it's a little bit annoying with Fred Olsen that the charge for the um, shuttle bus into town it's like a fiver to go into town which um, is a little bit annoying considering that other cruise lines well a lot of other cruise lines don't charge anything for the uh, shuttle buses but um, we're thinking of uh, maybe getting a taxi instead and just all uh, putting in for that so uh, it, uh, they said it's about an hour round trip uh, on the announcement today but I don't think it is. With uh, I've been here before, and it's like five ten minutes. Weather seems okay out there. It's not particularly hot, but it's um, apparently it's about nineteen twenty degrees Celsius, so or centigrade. So that's uh, I think that's sixty something degrees Fahrenheit. So it's you know the weather's picking up a little bit because it was freezing when we uh, when we got on board, but uh, it's uh, it's yeah it's it's starting to warm up a little bit. I feel so much better now that I've actually got some water and uh, I went and bought some Vaseline as well so I can put that on my lips because uh, they've just been getting so dry and cracking um, which often happens on ships I don't know why it's something to do with the air conditioning and uh, also being a little bit de uh, dehydrated because I've not been drinking any water so I've been putting some Vaseline on and that seems to have sorted me out right it's time to meet the guys and uh, get off in Casablanca <laughs> We're just gonna go walk around over the square. Oh, the square. Oh, yeah. And this is the start of one of the souks. And as you'll see, <laughs> they'll try and sell you anything here. These watches last about two days at the most, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This thing you can see behind us is one of the souks, and that's what we've just been into, and uh, <laughs> you get accosted pretty quick. If you don't like haggling and getting hassled by uh, traders, then uh, Morocco is not the place for you. Went to get a coffee, we ain't got the right money. So we've come to the post office, we're going to get it changed. Well, the exchange rate was better than we expected. Managed to get uh, 100 dirham for uh, 10 euros. Just so happens three cappuccinos are only 27 uh, dirham, so uh, done pretty well there. See you later. So that boat is owned by the uh, King of Morocco, apparently, the Marrakesh. Who'd have thunk it? So I had a pretty nice afternoon in Casablanca, I had a walk around, I had a nice coffee and uh, pretty glad that I got off now. When we came back I went up to the gym, had a little workout in there and uh, just had a little sit out because it's, it's pretty sunny now. Just having a look at the paper again and uh, I can see we've got three sets tonight, 8 o'clock, 9.45 and uh, 11.15 so that's okay. We don't actually set sail until 9 o'clock tonight, uh, all guests have got to be back on board by 8.30 so uh, yeah 9 o'clock sail and then uh, tomorrow we'll be in Gibraltar. 
because of the time of that sailing, we're likely to get some announcements while we're uh, actually playing, and that, that happens a lot. If the ship sails roughly around the time that you're uh, on stage, there'll be all kinds of announcements asking where you know such and such a person is because they've uh, not got back on board yet. So uh, yeah, that happens a lot. On most ships they have a cutoff system so that uh, as soon as an announcement starts all the PA just goes dead so you'll be halfway through a song and uh, you know all of a sudden you know everything turns off and there's the announcement. It can be pretty annoying when that happens but uh, you know it's, it's a good thing really because uh, you know you don't want us hitting an iceberg and then uh, everybody just being sat in the lounge unaware of the impending disaster because the band is still playing at full volume. This cruise actually seems to be flying by we're on the uh, 7th day which means we're exactly halfway through the cruise and uh, yeah it seems to have gone really quick uh, we've only had three port days all the rest of them have been sea days and uh, it seems like I've only just got on board as soon as I've got settled in and you know the bands getting tight and everything it'll be time to get off Would I like to go with you and see 